Hi and welcome to the tutorial for Three in a Row, the summer edition. This is a digital game that you can play with your early elementary age students um, just to work on summer vocabulary or sentence structure or word order. There's a variety of goals that you're going to be able to easily target with your student while they are playing to the rules of Three in a Row. So this should be a really fun and engaging game for them and an easy way for them to learn some summer vocabulary. Now this is going to be the first navigation page that that you encounter and your student if they're playing for the first time is going to want to learn the words that are in the game and that way it'll make it very easy when they are playing the game itself so let's go ahead and start there so we click on learn the words here we have a large picture of one of the vocabulary words there's nine vocabulary words in total in this resource so we have a question what is this this question is going to be repeated nine times and you can use this to also work on articulation or a three-word question or a sentence if your student is working on articulation or intelligibility you can use it that way um, you can also use it where you're asking them the question and then they have nine opportunities to practice answering this simple what is this question now over here on the left we have a crab and we have four words that are going to help us make the answer to this question now depending on the age of your student you may want to have them work on typing and spelling skills instead of word order um, and if that's the case then your student can type in the response so that is a bucket and this is pretty flexible because it is typable. Your student could say that is a sand bucket, depending on what you personally call it, okay? Now, if we wanted to use the draggable words, we can go ahead and drag them over like this. That is a bucket. And once again, we do have the typable box here, so if we wanted to add some more detail, um, let's see here put this in the right order, we can just type in that is a sand bucket and then move the words over accordingly. So this is good if you're trying to work on expanding sentences, you can kind of combine the words, uh, draggable words, with the typable box. Now your navigation is here in the top right corner. This takes us back. This takes us to the last navigation page and this will take us forward. So here we have another vocabulary item. So that is a watermelon would be the response to this question, obviously. Um, so let's go back to the other navigation page and we're gonna play the game. So here we have a brief overview for your students of how they can win three in a row. We can win by doing a row, a horizontal row across, a vertical row um, up and down, of course, or on the diagonals. So if you're using this resource with maybe preschoolers or kindergartners that are a little young and don't quite understand um, the concept of winning three in a row, that's okay. Just use this as a simple cover it up game. It's going to be just as fun for them. And as you're doing that, you can, of course, model the three in, three in a row and point it out as you go. And they'll, they'll pick it up pretty quickly um, on these rules, okay? So here we have the game board, and the rules are right here. The goal of the game is to get three in a row. Before placing your token, be sure to name the picture in the box where you want to go. So I have expressed that the task is to name the picture, but you can have them answer a question about the picture or describe it once they've designated the one that they want to go into. So this is a two-player game. Um, one player will get to be the seashell, and the other, I'm sorry, the starfish, and the other will get to be the seashell. And if you want to have a rematch, you can click right here. And I've included nine rematches, 10 game boards total of the identical board. And your student can play until their heart's content. And when they're done, they can simply click here at the top left corner on the Play, Learn, Talk logo. And it'll take them back to this page. And if you want to get back to the very beginning, you just hit that back button to get to this original page. So I hope you enjoy this so much. There is a free principle um, set that comes with this that allows you to target a few more goals in addition to what's targeted here. So make sure to look in the About section to see where you can download that for free as a supplemental um, homework that you can send home to parents or use with your children if you are parents watching this video right now.